Hey YouTubers, this is Tim at JL Miniatures. Um, I'm going to go through, and this is, uh, I believe this is part three of the Warcry Miniatures. This is how the, uh, the muscle tones turned out, as far as that goes. And today, I think I'm just going to do a, more of a video on the bone and stuff like that, just to show you how I take and um, paint up something. Basically, I'm doing almost a 50-50 here. And this is that brown and uh, an off-white. Off Now I'm just running my paintbrush along the the side of it. So I'm not painting with the tip of the brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. And by doing that, I'm putting more paint on it. And this isn't... I'm going to take and try to move the light over a little bit more here. And this isn't, uh, like, a dry brush. This is actually, you know, just a wet paintbrush. There's not really a way I can... I'm going to try to... I'll have to hold it upside down so you can kind of see where I'm getting at in here. These are not the easiest spots to, to show somebody, especially when I've got my little... Okay, so... With this right here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going over the bone area. Now this looks really light, but it's it's actually not. And it will darken up a bit too, so. You always got to keep that in mind as you're working. You want to keep things going. I'll try to get this in focus here. There, you can kind of see it right there. So you can still see that, the darker. You can still see the darker, and then you can still see exactly where I just put that lighter one too. So now I'm working on the a little bit lighter than that and then I'm just gonna hit along the edges again <laughs> excuse me and then this gives it a really nice bony appearance as far as that goes you can see I haven't done the teeth yet or anything like that and that's that will uh, that will be part of it here in a second I'm gonna do the underside same thing I just did there now with the uh, the teeth, I usually like to take that really dark brown and then what I'm going to do is, let me get this in focus here for you so you can see, I'm going to go along the edge of the tooth right back where it goes right back into that bone right there and I'm basically just going all the way around the tooth itself now by doing that you're gonna get a better there we go it'll make everything kind of stand out a little bit more and that's exactly what we want you don't want the the bone and the teeth to be the exact same because you're not gonna ever really you won't see the the detail on it as far as that goes so by sorry about the camera jiggling like that so by making an outline around that tooth it gives it a different color and everything else teeth aren't always the same as what the bone is that it's in so by changing it up a bit it makes it look a lot nicer and it gives you a lot more detail too so you can see how that's looking already now I'm gonna go right back into the the other color that we had for the bone I'm gonna make mix some of the darker 
brown with it. And then I'm going to come back through. And I'm going to start working in with the teeth. Let me get that back in focus for you here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come up, but not all the way to the back to the bone itself. So that way you're going to have that little nice brown in there. And that's really going to make your, your teeth stand out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do uh, blood effects and everything else. So a lot of this stuff that I'm doing, if you're not doing a blood effects, yeah, that would be fine. Uh, if you're going to do the blood effects, a lot of the blood effects is going to cover up what you're doing. But I like to do it anyways because you never know what part's going to uh, be seen and which parts is going to be hidden by the by the blood splatters and all that kind of stuff. So I like to get in there and make things kind of stand out a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit lighter with that. So I'm going to go with that off white again. I'm still going to mix in that same area that we've been doing all this teeth work. And I'm just slowly kind of dabbing the paint on. And you can start seeing how the teeth are starting to pop back out again. But by doing that, you can see how it's really starting to stand out. That just gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more something to look at. It's always nice, you know, when somebody's looking at your miniature and they actually notice all the color work and all the stuff that you've done to make your miniature look more uh, a little different than everybody else's, and you've taken the time to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is with some of that off white, I'm gonna come right along the edge, right where that gum line would be. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of edge highlighting on there. And what that does is it really makes everything kind of stand out. And that's how I do my, how I do my bone work, as far as that goes. Uh, with the teeth, you can always come back through Get a little bit more white just to make things kind of pop. And that's how that's looking. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to take and finish up the rest of the bone work. I'll probably end up doing the, the horns and the, uh, the spear. And then uh, I'll get back into the furs and do another video on that. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching my video. Um, please make a comment and uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Again, this is Tim at JL Miniatures. Thank you very much for watching.